When Sulky came back with 28 Reasons, some fans made the connections between the music video for the song and the Red Velvet storyline that's been going on for years. But what exactly is the connection between the two? Sulgi made her debut as a solo artist with 28 Reasons on October 4th. The teasers for the album raised anticipation from the fans and non-fans as well. The video teaser referenced multiple movies like Confessions, A Tale of Two Sisters, and Memento Mori. It also included multiple dark superstitions like cutting your nails at night, broken mirrors, whistling, and writing your name in red ink. Just from the teasers alone, fans could tell that the concept would be dark. The music video is about the fight between the good and the evil, as it is said in the album packaging and the teasers too. As it says in the mood sampler, Good and evil people are not clearly distinguished. Good and evil coexist within one person. Even if one seems good, greed and temptation always exist together inside. We simply try to resist from being captivated by evil. Sulgi even said that the theme was inspired by herself and how she's perceived differently by fans. She said, I have other images inside of me that I want to show, and I think as playing Kang Sulgi, I've shown a lot of my good side, so through music, I can show more of a darker side, and I thought I could show those sides in a fun way. But how does that connect to the Red Velvet storyline? Well, Sulgi explained the narrative of the trailer as the story of a girl who had a hard childhood and who wanted to take revenge on other people because of it. That's why she became a villain. However, this conflicts with the main character, and she has a dream of a fight between the good and evil. The inner battle between her two sides is what is shown in the music video. But there's also a big part in the music video that's about temptation. The apple is present many times in Sulgi's work. The teasers, the music video, even the album packaging. And it has different meanings in different cultures, and all of them are not positive. In Asian folklore, eating apples at night, which Sulgi is doing in the teaser, is considered bad luck. In Christianity, it's a symbol of sin and temptation, as Eve was tempted by the snake to eat it. In Greek mythology, the apple is a symbol for discord and war. Temptation is a recurring theme in Red Velvet's music videos, and it's how 28 Reasons connect to them. The music video for Red Velvet's last comeback, Feel My Rhythm, is heavily inspired by Bosch's painting, The Garden of Earthly Delights, which is a painting that depicts humanity, temptation, and sin. The painting is divided into three parts. The panel on the left portrays the beginning of humanity, the middle panel displays humans engaging in sin by being lustful and greedy, and the panel on the right shows hell. The music video shows the members being tempted to hell by Sulgi with the forbidden fruit, which is represented by strawberries and red orbs. 28 Reasons is where we dig deeper into who Sulgi really is and what the motives behind her actions are, but there are three theories about this. The first theory is that Sulgi has been possessed by an evil spirit, hence the fight between her evil side and the good one. As we have mentioned in previous Red Velvet related videos, Irene was the one who quote unquote controlled the members. She was the one who pulled all the strings by keeping the members under a trance. That is, until Sulgi got out of the trance, but instead of helping the members to get out of it too, she became greedy and wanted the power Irene had. We can see the two fighting for power, especially in the music video for Monster, where they try to control each other the whole time, but Irene is not the only one Sulgi is fighting, as she is also fighting with herself, hence the fight between good and evil that is seen in the 28 Reasons music video. As it says in the lyrics of the song, under a single lighting, why are there two shadows? I guess something else woke up inside me, with the something else in question being her evil self. She finally manages to incite Irene and feel my rhythm, but is not satisfied with her victory as greediness takes over her. She also takes control of the other members one by one, but what if Sulgi was also taken control of, without her even being aware of it? The superstition about not cutting your nails at night that is shown in the music video comes from the belief that it makes way for bad spirits to enter your body. Sulgi did cut her nails, so what if the bad spirit really overtook her and is making her do evil things while the good side tries to take control? As mentioned by Sulgi, the protagonist of her music video is trying to take revenge on the people who made her childhood hard, which contributed to making her a villain. There's a possibility that the evil side is messing with her perception of reality and making her believe that Irene and the rest of the Red Velvet members are the ones that hurt her, and she's trying to get revenge by sending them to hell, while the good side is fighting to show her that Sulgi is the one who needs to help the other members escape. The evil side is also seen dragging the good side around by a chain in her neck. It looks like all that Sulgi wants is to free herself from the chains of her evil after being consumed by it already, but it doesn't seem like it's working. At the end of the video, we see two reflections and that the golden apple self is wearing black, symbolizing that she has succumbed to evil. How this affects the rest of the members, especially since they're already in hell and the rest of the people in the 
the Kwangya storyline is yet to be seen. The second theory is related to the Golden Apple and Greek mythology. In a story in Greek mythology, Aris, the goddess of discord, threw a golden apple on a table at the wedding of Peleus and Theodos, saying that it belonged to the most beautiful. This sparked a fight between Hera, Athena, and Aphrodite, who each believed to be the fairest, and the discord then led to the Trojan War. Although it is not confirmed, the girls' generation members might represent Athena, Hera, and Aphrodite. However, Sulgi using the golden apple to make them fight might have caused the biggest event in the history of the SMCU, the creation of Kwangya. Her and Irene creating Kwangya might have come from the conflict, making the two the most powerful characters in the SMCU. It doesn't mean that Sulgi is evil, though. If 28 Reasons is really connected to the Kwangya universe, and if Sulgi is really the Black Mamba, then the song in the music video could be about how everyone in Kwangya thinks that she's the villain. In reality, there is a bigger evil behind everything, orchestrating all this mess, and the Black Mamba is being manipulated by the real villain. Whether that evil is Irene or another artist, we have yet to find out. The solo debuts of other group members from SM Entertainment may tell us about who is going to represent the other goddesses and the actual villain that is behind everything that goes on in Kwangya, but we have to do some waiting to find out. However, for now, let's have fun making theories about it. The third and the most plausible theory is connected to the tale of Snow White. On the debut showcase, Sulgi herself explained, I show duality with the trailer. The theme is Snow White and the Queen. The English initials S and G of my name stand for the less pure Snow White and the less evil Grimhilda to show the concept of good and evil coexist. Everything about the debut is about the tale of Snow White, actually. The concept of a set of teasers is called Snow White, and the album cover is very reminiscent of the poisoned apple and the magic mirror that the evil queen uses. The music video is also recreating the tale, with Snow White Sulgi running to show that she got out and escaped, just like in the story. The scenes where Sulgi is holding a gun and is dressed in hunter clothes could represent the hunter that the evil queen hired to get rid of Snow White. It looks like her Snow White self really managed to separate herself from the evil queen, seeing as she doesn't have a reflection below in the album cover. This makes Grimhilda use the apple to bring Snow White back to the dark side, but Snow White is resisting her temptation. Based on the fact that Golden Apple Sulgi is wearing black by the end, Snow White gave into the temptation after all. However, in the album details, Snow White Sulgi is the one that's tagged as evil, which make things all the more confusing. Is Snow White Sulgi trying to trick everyone into believing that she's the good one who is fighting against evil? Because of this, she can do whatever she wants and disguise it as good deeds, and everyone will see her as the saint who is trying to protect Kwangya and the people living in it. This may also be how she tricked the other Red Velvet members into following her and doing whatever Sulgi wanted, convincing that she'll be the one to defeat Irene and free her from her reign. The good side is trying to escape and defeat the evil side, but so far, it's been unsuccessful. What are your theories about 28 Reasons and the Golden Apple? Share them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!